Hey, what's up, Metal and Heavy Music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and it's that time again for me to check out your latest requests and recommendations for new metal albums on Bandcamp. And hey, if in general you just like to be kept up to date with the best and brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below. All right, I'm going to get right into it and kick things off with a recommendation from Justin from Tala that he brought up multiple times on the podcast episode I did with him recently. Check that out if you haven't already, and definitely check out my review of their latest album, Matrifigy. It's a trip. But we've got Pathogenic out of Massachusetts, and he told me to start with their debut album, which is Cyclopean Imagery, which we're looking at right now. And then we will also check out the latest album from 2019. And I'm already... Anticipation's high. Anticipation's high, y'all. Because he talked this band up quite a bit. Let's skip through the intro a little bit here. Ooh. Yo, that's crazy. That's like that's like Baroness vocals mixed with like genty technical guitars. Ooh. That was nice. Harsh vocals like razor blades, too. Nice bouncy vibe. By the way, if you're new here, I do skip around in the songs because uh, copyright. Nice, very atmospheric, very full sounds. Very impressed. Kind of a little obscura in there. I could see these guys on like the artisan era, too. They would fit right in. Ooh, listen to that, listen to that guitar, and the way that fuses with those clean vocals. That's amazing. Ooh, 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 those drums, too. Man, this is, this is quite incredible. Justin, you got me, man. You have, uh, brought them a new fan, and I hope other people watching feel the same way. Ooh. Look at that, that chug, man. That groove. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, <laughs> oh man, some brutal stuff here. Ooh, the death vocals there. That nice melodic kind of proggy guitar part again. Dude, this is, this is sick. I am really over the moon. But as much as I'd love to just keep going with this one, we do need to switch gears here and check out now their 2019 album self-titled pathogenic Let's see what we got going on here different production i can already tell a little bit deeper almost more of like a deathcore kind of production on it a little darker sounding a little bassier i almost wonder if they went for a lower tuning too maybe Maybe that's in my head. Those death vocals definitely getting more brutal, too. You can tell that they added more aggressive vocals. But the question is, do they still have the clean singing, too? Because that was pretty interesting. Oh, yep, there it is. I think that helps them kind of stand out. Just a different kind of vocal quality. Like I said, kind of like Baroness meets, like, Tech Death. Yeah, definitely getting a little bit more of like a deathcore vibe on this one. But oh man, this this part's like protest the hero. Putting a smile on my face, man. This this is awesome. This is this is one of those moments where I'm like, okay, I think I'm about to uh <laughs> it's that uh, stepbrothers meme. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Hell yeah. Well, as much as I'd love to just continue to just drool over Pathogenic, I have other bands I need to check out, but hopefully this will be sufficient in getting you also interested in checking them out, just as, and be just as excited as I am. Alright, let's shift gears back to Paranoid. This is a returning band, and I wanted to give them their due diligence because I think what happened before was I think they wanted me to cover this album, their new album from 2020, and when I clicked their Bandcamp link, since it wasn't out yet, it just automatically took me to their older stuff. And I sampled a little bit of this, and it is like night and day. Their older stuff is just like raw, like grindcore sounding stuff. But as you'll hear here, like 
Big step up in production. Not like modern production though. It has kind of like an old school like heavy metal sound to it. That kind of like 70s vibe. But nice like crusty drums, D beats. Nice mixture of, again, there, there are some kind of like heavy metal vibes. Even on the cover here, it reminds me of something out of like Iron Maiden or Motorhead in the style. And then also punk too, just classic era punk. Just fun, high energy. Love that guitar tone. Listen to those wailing guitars, love that. And just a reminder too, this is a Swedish band. I know their whole aesthetic is based around like, I, I, I'm terrible at identifying which uh, origin these characters are from, but they're not like Japanese. They're, they are a Swedish band. There they are. <laughs> and you can hear some of that old, old school Swedish death metal kind of coming through in some of their sound, but it, it goes back a bit further than that, I would say. Just primal, fun-loving, Listen to that chug. Hell yeah. That riff. Awesome. Quest for Metal and Jamie Horsley, if you're listening, I feel like this is right up your alley. So I expect you to, I, I throw down the challenge for you to find some place on your channels as well to spotlight these guys because they seem like they deserve a bit more attention. All right, and then a request that showed up a few times in my comments. I can't remember if it was on social media or on one of my YouTube videos, but Anna Pest. Um, this is a one-woman Quebec project, and I have not listened to it all. And I'm interested because, like, the cover is a little mixed. Like, I could see this going, like, symphonic metal direction, but then the logo is much, much heavier looking. So let's just check it out. All right, <laughs> it's going straight up brutal and kind of deathcore. Man, those vocals. Yeah, you know, I've said it a number of times before. I, I love female-fronted death metal bands. I've covered quite a few of them. I know the, the female-fronted thing, you know, whatever. That's, you know, it is what it is. It's not a genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My point being that I feel like I can usually, no matter how heavy and brutal the vocals are, I can still... Ooh, that guitar. <laughs> Stop me in my tracks there. Gotta talk about the guitar too. The drumming's really good too. But like I was saying, I feel like no matter what, our vocal cords are just different. And so I can usually tell the vocalist. But in this case, like, if I didn't know, if I hadn't already seen this picture, Never would have guessed it. Never would have guessed it. And just super heavy, aggressive stuff. This is sick. I'm really glad y'all recommended this. Awesome. Let me check out a little bit more of their stuff, because this is just a single. I've also got The Ocean Calls Me Home. This looks familiar, too. I feel like this showed up somewhere. Got some synths on this one. Okay, more like melodic death metal vibes here. Yeah, this is good too. I, I'm interested in the more brutal direction they've gone on, or that she's gone on this next one, but really cool. I feel like the production has advanced on the latest single too, but I do like these synths. I would like to see a little bit more of the synth. The synthesized vocals are interesting too. Different, different approach. A nice little groove on this one. Yeah, production has gotten a lot better, especially on the guitars and on the drums too, I would say, on the newer newer stuff. But count me interested, I've already hit the following button. So Anna Pest or Anna Pest, send me more stuff, because I am very much on board. Alright, then we've got Natura Morta with Schwarze Mauer. This is a UK band, but that is German. It's black. Like black wall, black build, something something along those lines. I'm a little rusty. Uh, as I recall, Mauer usually means like to build, to like wall something in. Like post metal, sludgy vibes here. Nice little groove. Okay. 
Interesting. It's kind of like psychedelic. Those backing guitars are interesting. It's a little bit discordant too, so it has like this nightmarish psychedelic quality to it. Oh, we got like some ambient drony kind of parts here. Add to the atmosphere. This is definitely not great music for me to skip around with. I could tell this is something I'd rather like sit down and let it kind of surround me. Envelope me in its atmosphere. Building up to this nice like primal rhythmic part here. Very ritualistic sounding. We got some harsh vocals too. Blackened vibes on that. Very haunting. Kind of chilling with these harmonies, the way they've layered the vocals. And they don't really give you any genre tags other than extreme metal, so I, they kind of make sense. This, this is sort of all over the place. More avant-garde. It's just very unsettling. Also very haunting. It's like another one-man project. Doesn't clarify that in the details. Very mysterious. We got some, like, Spanish guitar here. Softer side. Then building into more electronic, kind of progressive elements here. Yeah, this is really interesting. Lots to, lots to take in here. Definitely not something that I'm sure I'm fully capturing the extent of in this clumsy jumping around. Not the way I'm sure he meant for this to be experienced, but I'm hoping enough to get you interested enough to check this out. Just count me intrigued for sure. And you know, as I was doing that one, I decided, you know what, it's time for me to actually spotlight Lou Kelly on here. I covered a band that Lou had actually recommended to me recently, but I've never actually played his music on here. I've mentioned it before. And that last band reminded me in a, in a strange way to them. He is very experimental. You want to talk about avant-garde and just getting weird. This is your guy. This was his latest album, Junk City, and just very like atmospheric, conceptual stuff. Kind of like Tom Waits meets like Mr. Bungle era Mike Patton. Just very weird vocals, lots of like characters. And then brass just everywhere, piano jazzy but very schizoid in the vocals very like catchy in a strange way but very bizarre like if you're not into weird experimental stuff then this is not going to be the thing for you but if you want to like be taken on this weird like lsd trip through kind of th this is like fear and loathing in las vegas almost like in a in an album <laughs> This is what's playing in Johnny Depp's head that entire movie, I feel like. Just totally bizarre. And if you do like that, though, I also, the album that actually got me into Lou Kelly was the Vulgarian Philharmonic. And this is like mathcore, but on steroids and performed with like, you know, concert instrumentation. You've got brass again, you've got, you know, strings, piano creating this like weird mathcore orgy that's just all over the place and I was just spellbound by this. Scrape was one of my personal favorites on here. And I happen to be like a big fan of strings in particular so that's what I, this is a very like string focused arrangement and in fact um, he even says in here the uh, titles are actually a hint as to what the sort of main instrumentation is. So we got buzz, blow, strike. Obviously, strike's going to be more percussive. Yeah, this one's much more just drum oriented. You got piano too, which is technically also striking. So just fun little trivia there. And he did not do the vocals on this one. He actually had some friends contribute to it, and they are crazy though. Like they're just absolutely wild, really intense. It's a really fun experience. It's actually only four songs, but you have the instrumental versions of each too, if you'd prefer not to have the crazy vocals over it. But yeah, check out Lou Kelly and definitely follow him because he is a wild dude and also just a genuinely cool guy.
All right, and then we're going to wrap this up and put a bow on it with Partholon, with Follow Me Through Body. This is an Irish project. Kind of like post-metal, progressive, dissonant progressive sludge from the south coast of Ireland. I've got a little backstory here. Partholon murdered his father and mother, and for his depravities, a curse was put on him. Partholon fled Ireland and is said to have spearheaded the second settlehood Settlehit. <laughs> settlement of Ireland. The settlement was eventually decimated by plague inside a single week. No king, no god, just life, and then death. How uplifting. <laughs> Do you need a positive message for today? There you have it. Um, but yeah, there's another Irish project that these guys remind me of, and the name escapes me at the moment. But they also give me vibes of, if anyone remembers another band camp band I've covered a number of times, no longer together, but they were called Alaskan. Fantastic sludge group, one of my favorites over the past five years or so. Yeah, nice just sludgy mood music too. And I gotta say, I love the production on the drums. Like, th they just sound like they're like right next to me in my headphones, like they're playing in the same room. And there's something to be said about that. I really like the howling vocals too. This is definitely, again, just more like emotionally based music. I like this groove too. Like it just kind of gets into your cells and you uh, start to feel a bunch of different stuff that the band's trying to convey. It comes through on this cover too. So it's just, just biting, howling vocals too. I was called this like seafarer like Moby Dick sounding music because I just picture like this big waving ocean uh, <laughs> with a storm and the, that's the captain screaming at the helm doing the uh, Lieutenant Dan on the front of the ship <laughs> screaming at it come get me if you know the reference put it in the comments by all means all right, y'all, I think that's plenty for today, but as always, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite today, and especially let me know if you ended up buying any of these albums. That is my favorite comment by far to get when I hear that somebody came to my video, saw a band, heard me talking about it, got excited, and sp ended up spending their hard-earned money on an artist that absolutely deserves it. So please do that, and hey, stick around because I got a whole series of these. They're in a playlist I will have linked in the comments. And then also I got full album reviews, tier lists, interviews with the bands on the podcast. You name it, we've got it. So plenty of reasons to stick around and again, subscribe if you have not already. Also in the description, you can find links to follow us on social media, our email newsletter, metaltrenches.com for even more reviews and content and our Patreon and subscribe star if you want to take that extra jump to becoming a full-on supporter. Just a dollar a month gets you early access to content and helps me keep this train rolling. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.